Okay, question five is another sequences and series question, but because this is inductive definition, there's no formula in the formula book here. So let's have a look at what we're doing. So we've got a sequence, they've given us this formula, this is inductive definition, and they've given us some information. So they've told us the second term is 160, the third term is 132, and the limit of the sequence as n tends to infinity, so it gets very large, is 20. And then, um, kind of quite open-ended question, they just want us to find p and q. So we're going to use the information we've given. So we've got our formula for our sequence, our rule. Um, so we've got the third term and the second term. So the third term, m plus 1, must be p times the second term plus q. So 132 is p times the second term, so 160p plus q. The bit that some students found difficult is using the limit. Now the limit of a sequence is when the next term is equal to the previous term. So the limit is when 20 equals 20p plus q because I've just replaced un plus 1 and un with 20. So that the sequence, that's what happens, it just goes 20, 20, 20. Now I've got two equations, equation 1 and equation 2. I've got simultaneous equations. So if I do equation 1 and I subtract equation 2, I'm going to get 112 equals 140p and the q's are going to cancel out. I can rearrange that to 5p is 4 fifths or 0 0.8. Um, then you can use either equation. So I might use equation number 2 because that's got quite small numbers in it. Um, so 20 is 20 times p plus q and you can find out that q equals 4. So now I've found my values for p and q, we can have a look at the next bit. So the next bit is hence, I'm going to find the first term. Well, what do I know? Um, in order to get the second term, you would use the first term. So our formula says the next term is p times the current term plus q. So if I put n equals 1 into there, I get u2 is 4 fifths times u1 plus 4. We know what the second term is. The second term was 150. And now I've got an equation where the only missing term is u1, the first term. So if I rearrange that, you're going to get that the first term is 195.